another one right here. So Bob, you want to explain what you're doing to the uh, camera? Yeah, what we're doing here is we're um, going into our hives, identifying drones, and putting them in this drone cage. You like to see, the, you want the mature drones. You can, um, it takes a little bit of a trained eye, but you want the largest thorax and the smaller abdomen, because when drones emerge, their semen hasn't migrated yet, so their abdomen is larger actually when they're just emerge than when they are when they become mature. So that's one of the things we try to look for. The sister's not happy. Yeah. What are you doing um, to my brother? So here we go. That, as you can see, that thorax is pretty large there and its abdomen is smaller. So that, uh, you know, I don't have a lot of experience with this, but just learning this process now, but that appears to be more of a mature drone than, than a young one. So that's what you want to look for. Now we just throw them into this drone cage. Right out here, Bob. There's two of them right there. There was. All right. need more so we're just gonna stimulate them. They get stimulated by rolling them around, right? And didn't mean to come out of the back, right? So that's what you want. And oh. then your sperm's going to come out of that and kind of roll it up. That's something. Yeah, there we go. What? I don't know if there's any sperm in there. Wow. All right. Wow. This is something that has no sperm at all, right? It's clear. See that? Oh, yeah. So clear, it's yeah. immature. Can so that, that was probably one that didn't isn't. It's young. That's mm -hmm. the one that, you. That's got, the one Bob right. took out of the that's uh, one cell. Of the <laughs> one. Okay, so this I could see just bare that there's some drone, there's some semen in here. So we can see how much sperm we got here. <laughs> okay, so the idea here is to line up your tube with the center of that. Our queen is going to be going in there. All right, this it's two actions here that need to take place when we get into the queen. You're going to be inserting in, and then at the same time, once you hit that valve, there's, there's a valve that you have to bypass. You lift it up a tiny bit and insert it at the same time. The valve fold you're talking about? Yeah, the val valve fold. Mm -hmm. So we're going to back this out. This is hooked up to CO2. I, I uh, cleaned these earlier. All right. Here's our virgin. Mm -hmm. From Hull, call it Brockton by the sea. Oh, yeah. Very good. So she's going on five and a half days old, saying. six days. So these queens came from um, you got eight more. the breeder got queen. More. So she goes in the tube, and then she'll reverse back into this. So she'll back in there? Yeah, she's supposed to back in there, but... She didn't read the directions. Perfect. Now, I was reading that... Cur um, curling up that abdomen, like, no way you're coming near me with that thing. She okay. fainted. You ever see a queen faint? No. Oh, yeah, I see them all the time. Off of the CO2? No, just from shock. He hasn't CO2 would her yet. Huh? She looks she's coming back. The CO2, yeah. the CO2 looks like it's bubbling out. So you've seen them faint before? I've not, I've never seen a, yeah. a, a queen faint. Yeah, she might have not got there. There's a slow trickle going on here. 
but I've had Queen's faint on. Okay, she's back again. Look at that, she was totally knocked out. That was a good one. <laughs> now she's getting more lively. So Archie, I was reading that um, sometimes they want to do the CO2 prior to the uh, instrumental yeah, insemination. And what, what is the reason for that? You got to double them. So some do it before, some do it after. So that's why I had you buy that. So we'll inseminate them here. You inseminate them and you knock them out for 10 to 12 minutes. Next day, if they survive, then you hit them up again with the second CO2. And what does that do? Promote the egg laying? I'm not sure. Uh, you got to do it twice. We, Okay, I'm going to have to read into that to find out really what the actual reason is for that. I think it's be, it's to promote the egg laying, starter egg laying right away. Right there, yeah. Okay, this might be a little too late to ask this question. Um, so say we successfully um, disseminate this queen. Yep. She needs to go into a, a obviously a queenless mating nuke. Yep. And it, do I put her in a cage? Yes. Well, I don't have a queenless mating milk unless you have a <laughs> unless you have a queenless hive that's been queenless for I don't know a couple of days where you know I don't know if you've ever put a I actually a, do because I you, sold a queen you yesterday. Can, you can sometimes I'll walk right in. Okay, so the stinger is right there, but I've got this two little meat pockets on either side that I gotta be careful. That's the stinger. Right there, yeah. Yep. And you try to grab that with your pincher? Yes. Ooh, here we go. One thing I have to do is make sure that my hook is not going to be hitting my tube, right? So that's got to go down. She's in. See you going in? Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. How many, is, is, is it, um, it's like drink 10 to 12. Okay. Okay, so this is going to be number 14. Uh, write that down. I've never seen a queen so still. When that's alive. Something. Yeah. Yeah. Careful, you don't want to hit that. Not as easy as it looks. Right? You know? Let me try one more. You think it looks easy? Huh? <laughs> oh, Alright, so 
I got the horns out. What's that? Is that good? Oh, there's a tiny bit. What's that? Doesn't look like much there, though, does it? You gotta put it up by the um, I think I needle. That poor little one. It's gone See where my lot. fingers are? Yeah. I'm that bad. You concentrate them by the head. Then I'm gonna roll it. Ready? This tight. If I want to go left with this? Yeah, you want to go this way. To you. Got a gap there. Hold on, stop. Oh, there we go. Anything on that one? Yeah, I'll put it in the microphone. It might be on that one side there. No, not no focus on that either. What happened with the focus? You're in there, you just got to come up closer to the tip. Oh, the, yeah, the tip it, is on focus. Uh, there's nothing on them.